Okay, so bits of kit for this apparatus. First of all, uh, there's a uh, stop clock with a stop, go, and a reset button on it. And uh, measuring cylinders, uh, these are 50 centimeter cube measuring cylinders. Uh, so the experiment, uh, uh, you probably won't need to use 50, we might be using 25 centimeters cubed. Um, and this is a piece of kit that you haven't seen before. This is a gas syringe, it's a glass piece of apparatus, quite chunky. Uh, and uh, it's a, a barrel which moves inside a sleeve and the sleeve has got graduations on it. And it should be free flowing. So if I let go, it should move down to the bottom. And it gets caught by this piece of string which stops it falling out the end. Okay, so I can tell that it's nice and free flowing. It also is airtight. So if I take my finger off the top and put it back, put it on, take it right, okay, so it stops moving as there's no, uh, no, I can move it down a bit but it bounces back up again so it's showing that it's properly sealed, okay. Uh, it's got to say the scale has got uh, small divisions on but the big divisions are every 20 centimeters cubed. And this is a little adapter which goes onto it, uh, which pops in uh, to make it fit into a, a conical flask. So standard conical flask, pop that in there, and we've got a sealed system. So any gas which is produced in here will end up pushing the plunger back here, and we can measure how much of it there is there. Um, this, of course, a clamp stand uh, and a clamp. And the bit which connects the two together is this, which is called a boss. Slide that on there. Put this in here. And then clamp the gas syringe. I don't want to clamp it too tightly, otherwise it won't move. If you squeeze it really hard here, the barrel doesn't move. Uh, and I also want to clamp it at the end, not over the graduations, because I want to be able to see the graduations. So gently just support it really in here. Okay, and lower it down a little bit and that should still flow really freely. And when I put this on here, okay, it seals the whole bit of kit. Uh, so when I move the thing back, it, it bounces back. Okay, it's, I can't move it back. Okay, so that's a nice airtight system. So this is what I'm gonna record the volume of gas in, this gas syringe. Uh, obviously I'm gonna start the stop clock because I'm gonna record the volume after a minute has passed. Okay, uh, and the acid I'm using is hydrochloric acid, and I'm going to be using 25 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. So I can weigh this out, uh, pour this out, uh, and uh, with the measuring cylinders, so it's basically half a measuring cylinder. Okay. And then I'm going to react this with different metals. So the metals we've got, uh, we've got some uh, copper, copper bits, a nice shiny copper, uh, so we could try it with that. Uh, we've got some uh, magnesium ribbon, bits of magnesium ribbon here, uh, they're, so they're, they're quite, uh, quite shiny and nice. Uh, uh, I've got uh, some, uh, this is uh, iron, this iron filings, very fine iron powder, if I give it a little, uh, so very, it's like iron dust, okay. Uh, I've got the same for zinc, so this is a zinc powder, uh, again quite a fine powder. And then here I've got some calcium, which is uh, little lumps of calcium, um, not, not a fine powder, uh, not a, a foil, but, a, but little granules, if you like. So we're going to try each of these separately with 25 centimetres cubed of acid and see what the volume of our gas is given off after one minute. So I'm going to show you a couple of these, uh, just so you can see how it happens, uh, and then I'll give you data for the other ones. Uh, so I uh, thought I'd go with the zinc one first. Um, so here's uh, here's my oh no we'll go we'll, no we'll go we'll go iron iron we'll go iron. Um, so how much of this? Well, a, a couple of spatulas uh, full is all we need. Um, so put them in. Oops. And then I really need an extra pair of hands here, but uh, I'll, I'll get by. So I'm going to pour the liquid in here. Put the bung on the top and hit the stop clock as fast as I can uh, and then I'm going to record what the, the um, uh, volume is after a minute. In order to make sure the reaction works really well, I'm going, to, I'm going to keep swirling it as I do it so that it doesn't stop. Okay, so here we go, whack that in there, pop that in there, hit the stop clock and start swirling. Okay, 
So the gas which is being produced, because it's an airtight system, is gradually pushing the plunger back, okay, uh, with 10 seconds in, and I've made about five centimeters cubed of gas already, so I'll keep that swirling process uh, until, we've, uh, until we reach a minute, and after a minute, uh, I'll record the volume. The reaction will still probably be going on, but I'll, uh, I'll just record it after a minute. That's 30 seconds gone, and we're about at 10 centimeters cubed of gas. Now, because I'm swirling it in this experiment, of course, I ought to swirl it in every experiment, otherwise that wouldn't be, it wouldn't be fair, would it? So we're trying to make sure that we keep all the variables we can the same. So the only variable which we're changing should be which metal we're using. Okay, so I'm 55 seconds. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So I'm going to pop the lid off there, stop the clock, okay, and take a reading from this. So at the moment, this is reading 16 centimetres cubed of gas uh, after a minute, and that was with uh, uh, iron, very fine iron powder. So let's try, uh, try another one. Uh, this time I'm going to try the same experiment. Uh, get rid of all the gas, so set that back to zero. It still moves freely, that's nice. Uh, so this time I'm going to go with uh, magnesium. Reset the stop clock. Uh, so again, I want 25 centimeters cubed in here. So again, I'm trying to keep the variables constant. So we used 25 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid last time. I'm using 25 of the same hydrochloric acid again. Uh, a couple of bits of magnesium ribbon. Okay, get those in there. Ready to hit the stop clock uh, as soon as I put this in the mixture. So there we go, it's in, that's on, stop clock on. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's racing away. Uh, that's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I'm getting a bit of a problem here, aren't I? Because this is going almost beyond. Oh, and it stopped. So you might want to work out why it went up so quickly and then it's actually stopped. It's only it's 30 seconds in and it's no longer moving back. Okay, so there's a reason for that. Uh, and if you can think about it, uh, try and work out why the reaction has stopped, whereas the last one kept going uh, even beyond the, the, the minute mark. Okay, so uh, the volume we've got there is uh, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75 centimeters cubed of gas uh, in way less than a minute. Okay, we're up to the minute now. Okay, so that's a minute, and we've gone 75 centimeters cubed, but it actually got there um, uh, easily within 30 seconds. Okay, so a much quicker reaction. I think everybody can see that, but it did actually stop. And if I hold it up and swirl it, perhaps you'll be able to work out why it stopped. Uh, can you see any magnesium in there? Hmm. Okay. So, uh, first one we did was iron, and it was 15 centimeters cubed of gas in a minute. And the second one we did was magnesium, uh, and that was 75. Uh, centimeters cubed uh, in about 20 seconds, really, it reached that. Okay.